Drugs Labs Associate Immuno Act has received an approval from the Central Drug Standard Control Organization for India's first CAR T cell therapy. Ekta, tell us a little bit about this. What would the implications be for Loris Labs itself? Well, for Loris Labs, it's definitely a positive because, you know, this uh, it's an associate company where they've invested around $18 million, which has received approval from the Indian drug regulator to basically commercialize their CAR T cell therapy drug in India. So this CAR T cell therapy is a part of immunotherapy. Now immunotherapy is a type of cancer treatment. We all know about radiation, chemotherapy. So now immunotherapy has been used for a couple of decades and CAR T therapy is a part of that. So what happens is that basically it is a platform which is uh, utilized as a type of therapy. You take the drug, you uh, sort of, you know, change it in the lab, uh, the cells, and then you infuse it back into the person. And that, the effectiveness of it against especially blood cancers is expected to be extremely high. So that is the approval that they've received for a drug which is used to treat leukemia as well as lymphoma. Now, uh, it is definitely going to be a positive for Loris Labs, but the key point of this is that this CAR T therapy, if you ever wanted to access it in India, it costs three to four crores per patient otherwise. Mm -hmm. You have to import the drug. Now what's going to happen is that this, pay, this drug is available in India and will be available at a fraction of a cost compared to the price that you're paying otherwise. It would be available at around 30 to 40 lakhs. And in fact, the company Immuno Act is looking to bring down mm -hmm. the price further. To talk more about this, we have Rahul Parbar, who's the founder and CEO and chairman at Immuno Act, who's joining in now. Uh, Dr. Parvar, thank you very much uh, for taking the time out and, you know, talking to us and congratulations on what is a big milestone for cancer therapy in the country. Uh, if you could just start by telling us about the cost, whether I am correct in assuming that you're going to, going to be selling it at, you know, such a huge reduction to what is available and what is the capacity of patients that you can probably cater to? Sure, Ekta. Uh, so this... Uh approval just came few days ago and we are very excited about it and uh, the cost as uh, as you rightly said is at the fraction of the cost cost would be hardly like 30 to 40 lakhs compared to what is uh, available in western countries which is around half a million us dollar 30 to uh, 3 to 4 crore rupees there and regarding right. your scale up questions, uh, right now we can treat up to 500 patients a year of leukemia and lymphoma because of personalized mm -hmm. therapy. What we are hoping that within a year we scale up to around 300 to uh, 3,000 to 5,000 patients uh, every year of the so blood that, cancers. That that will be uh, you know uh, pretty remarkable if you can scale it up to five to six times your current capacity. Just wanted to understand with that scale coming in. Would we see further reduction of cost? And if yes, by how much? Yeah, and this is where our innovation uh, actually uh, matters a lot. As a R and D company, we want to focus on innovation, and we completely understand that in India, even thirty to forty lakhs would be very, very high cost. And therefore, we are working very hard to improve our processes and ensuring that we use more technology. Uh, so that the cost becomes even much lesser. And our aim is around getting somewhere around 20 lakhs rupees range. Okay, hey, 20 lakh rupees. Uh, Rahul, hi, good morning and thanks for joining in. Uh, can you tell us uh, how much stake does Loris Labs hold in the company currently? And uh, will, the, will Loris Labs help in any way in scaling up the drug? Uh, what is the kind of participation that they would have? Certainly. Loris Lab actually is founded mainly, mainly by uh, our visionary Dr. Satya. And uh, they invested in us as an R&D company because as a, we are a startup. They helped us building the facility in the scale-up process because that's where the expertise come in scale-up. So Loris Lab really helped us a lot. And uh, they own Loris Lab and their management I think, uh, own somewhere between 39 to 40%. Okay. All right. Uh, just coming back, Rahul, before we get to, you know, Loris Lab and what the commercials might be there, just wanted to understand that even if you're looking to bring the cost down to 20 lakhs, it's still quite a large amount for anybody in India to probably shell out for a treatment for cancer. Uh, agreed that it's relatively much cheaper. 
But based on that, uh, you know, two factors, do you see more competition coming in in order to make prices more competitive in CAR T cell therapy? And eventually, what is the price that you would probably aim to bring it down to? Yeah, see, it's a personalized therapy and the technology, any technology, when it comes at the first time, it is expensive. And as technology matures, the price comes down. And that is because of new uh, new technologies are coming, new processes will be developed. And this is where our focus would be next one year, where we develop uh, new processes, use uh, novel methods to ensure to bring the price down. And for our short term aim is definitely to bring cost at least around 20 uh, lakhs in that range. If we bring to 20 lakhs, I think many, many patients can uh, get this benefit of this uh, technology. Okay, for Loris Labs in particular, are you looking to raise more funds from them? Because I think they've invested around 18 million till now and correct me if I'm wrong. Are you looking to get, get more funds from Loris Labs? And are they looking to probably increase their stake in the company? So right now we are not looking for the investment uh, because we hope that uh, we will generate uh, revenues and our revenue uh, growth can support further R&D. And right now we don't have that plan, but I think uh, right now we are just uh, absorbing what we recently heard, the good news that India is getting first car team. And uh, I think the commercial team and business team will plan, I think, next steps. All right, uh, Mr. Pawar, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining in and all the best uh, with, uh, you know, this development, uh, the CAR-T cell therapy drug. Uh, well, that's the word coming in from ImmunoAct. Let's slip into a quick break. On the other side, we'll get back.